today is Friday, September 20th, 2024. I received this word from the Lord, I want to say about an hour ago, Eastern Standard Time, and it's currently 8.06 p.m. He wants the title of this word, A Spiritual Storm is Coming. As always, the Bible encourages us to test every spirit. We are not to take everything that we hear and just believe it at face value. We have to take it back to the Lord. We have to uh, meditate on his word. He will confirm or deny what you heard today, either in his word during your own personal prayer time, or the Holy Spirit can confirm or deny it directly as well. That being said, this is what the Lord said. The veil between the natural realm and the spiritual realm is thinning. Expect demonic activity to be significantly heightened. Stay close to me, fervent in prayer. Principalities and regions are strengthening because their dominion is increasing over that region. Violent outbursts will be at an all-time high during the month of October due to the influx of human sacrifice and innocent bloodshed. People will be explosive and unpredictable. Fear not and be not dismayed. I have overcome the world. You must guard your heart against offense and anger. The enemy is seeking someone to devour and you cannot let your guard down for a moment. Anger is a mighty foothold for the devil, and he will waste no opportunity to sift one of my own as wheat. Pray for your enemies. Bless those who berate and insult you, knowing that you have berated and insulted others. This will be an opportune time for you to resist the temptation to get offended and meet them with mercy. I have commanded it. For judgment is without mercy to the one who withholds it, but love fulfills the law. That last one was part of uh, confirmation from today's Bible study. Uh, but love fulfills the law is Romans 13, 10. It says, love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. That's confirmation one. The next Bible confirmation that the Lord took me to was in Matthew chapter 22, verse 32 I am the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob God is not the God of the dead but of the living then he took me to almost the same exact title uh, that is mentioned in Matthew 22 32 it was in Acts chapter 7 verses 31 to 32 when Moses saw it he marveled at the sight as he drew near to observe, the voice of the Lord came to him, saying, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dare not look. Following that was Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. Galatians chapter 6 18 brethren the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit amen James chapter 2 verse 13 for judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy mercy triumphs over judgment James chapter 3 verse 13 who is wise and understanding among you let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of of wisdom James chapter 3 verse 18 now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace after that was Revelation chapter 21 verses 6 to 8 and he said to me it is done I am the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts he who overcomes shall inherit all things and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their parts in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation twenty fifteen, And anyone not found written 
in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The next confirmation was Matthew chapter 4, verses 3 to 4. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 58 to 64. O Lord, you have pleaded the case for my soul. You have redeemed my life. O Lord, you have seen how I am wronged. Judge my case. You have seen all their vengeance and their schemes against me. You have heard their reproach, O Lord. All their schemes against me, the lips of my enemies, and their whispering against me all the day. Look at their sitting down and their rising up. I am their taunting song. Repay them, O Lord, according to the works of their hands. And the final confirmation was in Lamentation, chapter 3, verses 37 to 39. Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? It is not from the mouth, is it not from the mouth of the Most High that woe and well being proceed? Why should a living man complain, a man, for the punishment of his sins?